construction is relatively simple and yet the operation is powerful. The power is provided by three magnets, shown shaded in blue and yellow. The lower magnet, in the form of a disc, with the poles arranged on the large, circular, flat faces. This is the stator magnet which does the move. Positioned above it is a disc made of non-magnetic material, shaded in grey, and which has two magnets embedded in it. This disc is the rotor and it's attached to the central vertical shaft. Normally, the rotor would not rotate, but between the two discs there is a ring of seven coils which are used to modify the magnetic fields and produce powerful rotation. The powering of these coils is very simple and is arranged by shining a beam of ultraviolet light from the light emitting diodes through a slot in an optical timing disc attached to the rotating shaft. The LEDs and the phototransistors are aligned with the centers of seven coils. The position and width of the slots controls which phototransistor gets switched on and for how long it remains powered up. This is a very neat and compact arrangement. The really interesting part of the design is how the coils modify the magnetic fields to produce the output power of the device. The orientation of the magnet poles can be swept over provided that this is done for all three magnets. Shown here is the situation when one of the rotor magnets has rotated to where it is above one of the coil which is not yet powered up. The south pole of the rotor magnet is attracted to the north pole which is the entire upper face of the stator magnet as shown by the three arrows. If a voltage is applied to the coil then this magnetic coupling is disrupted and altered. If any torque is developed as a result of the coil being powered up, then it will be developed to either side of the energized coil. If the coil is not yet powered up, then there will be full attraction between magnets and no rotational force will be produced. You will notice that there are two rotating magnets and seven coils, an odd number, so when one of the rotor magnets is above the coil, then the other isn't. This staggering of two positions is essential for generating smooth, continuous rotational torque and self-starting without any need to rotate the shaft manually.